Today's class is for the 16th of Tishrei, otherwise known as the second day of Sukkot. Please listen to this recording either before the first two days of Sukkot or after the first two days of Sukkot. We are continuing in chapter 98, Laws of Yomtif, of the holidays, and today we'll be doing paragraphs 8 through 13. As a reminder, I'm skipping many of the examples of the Kishrei that are not practical for the way that we live life in 2024. Paragraph 8. You cannot sift flour on Shabbos or on Yom Tif unless it's been pre-sifted. If it's been pre-sifted and you want to sift it again shortly before baking, then you could do that. However, you have to turn the sift the sieve upside down and sift it using backwards with the sieve upside down. This is called a shinui, literally translated as a deviation from the normal way in Halacha. Paragraph 9. Kneading dough, an action which is normally prohibited on Shabbos, is permitted on Yom Tif, on a holiday. However, precise measuring is not allowed. If you want to measure out a cup or two of flour, you can't measure it to the exact line. You put it in the measuring cup until it's around the, what, the, the one cup line or whatever, however many cups you're measuring. Paragraph 10. There are some types of doughs that are not, not allowed to be kneaded on Yom Tif, on a holiday. For example... Luxion, noodles. Noodles, the, if it's made in advance, not only does it taste just as good, it tastes even better. I'm not a baker, but at least that's what the Kitsar Shachan says. And therefore, well, like we saw in the introduction, in yesterday's introduction to the laws of the holidays, since it's just as good, if not even better, if it's made in advance, then noodles, luxion, pasta, should be made before Yom Tif begins, not on Yom Tif itself. Things like bread, cake, cookies, which are always better fresh, those are fine to do on Yom Tif. Paragraph 11. If somebody is baking challah or anything on Yom Tif which requires taking off a little piece of the dough as challah, and this little piece of dough when I say challah, I don't mean the bread challah, but the piece that we take off and we burn, we're going to get to those laws a few months down the road. So if you're not sure what I'm talking about, then hold on or reach out to me privately. You can't you could take off challah off of your dough on Yom Tif, but normally when you take it off during the week, you then burn it right afterwards. You're not allowed to burn it on Yom Tif. Also, you can't just throw it out. So you should set it aside to burn once the holiday is over. Paragraph 12 discusses kneading clay to make a seal for your oven. Our ovens in 2024, we don't have to seal, let alone with clay, and therefore we're going to move on to paragraph 13. Paragraph 13 talks about which chickens that are in your backyard you could trap to slaughter to have fresh chicken for a holiday. Again, that is not so practical for us in 2024, and so we will skip that one as well. That is the end of today's learning. Have a wonderful day, and see you in the next class.